Here we are in Dreamweaver, and this is the index page or the home page for the website that my students are creating. And there are three images in the carousel or slideshow. And I want to update this photo right here with the one I just created with the text and banner. So the first thing you want to do is look at your window. I have mine set for beginner. It's up in the upper right hand corner and I'm in split view, meaning that I can see the visual part of the website and then I can also see the code. And make sure you're not in design. That would be design. This is how that would look. Okay, if you're in that, you need to click out of that and go back to live. And then make sure you're in split view. Okay, we're back in split view. The next thing I need to do is make sure that the properties window, it's located down here, is open. Right now, it's not open. So I'm going to go up to window, click on properties. And there you go. And then this little window here opens up. Let's rotate until we get to the photo one. Okay, this is the one I want. I'm going to click on that. And you see the there's a blue box. It says center block images. And also it indicates over here in the code view what photo you're working on. Down in the properties area, I'm going to click on Browse to File, and I'm going to look for the image I just created, and there it is. It's version 2. I'm going to open and refresh. Let's see if it's there. It was the image that had the text on. And then, of course, you want to save it, so just do Command Save. And you can see over here in the About page, there is a little asterisk right there. That means it needs to be saved, and Command S on the, on the Mac. I want to go back to Split View, click on Split, and if I wanted to change out this photo, it would be the same. Click on the image, go down into the Properties, Browse file, and let's just go ahead and change out the photo we want. Let's select this photo. These are photos that are part of my thesis project from Ohio University that I did, and I actually shot them on film. So these are photos that were scanned. I'm going to go ahead and click Open, and there you go. And then Command S. So I just changed out that picture. And if I wanted to view this to make sure it's working properly, I would simply go to this little globe that says preview. And I'm going to click on I like opera for browser. And there you go. Now if I wanted to look at the index page with the carousel, I would click on that page and let's see. Let's see if it's working. There's one picture and there's that picture we just updated. So in summary, you want to create an image for the carousel. First of all, you need to make sure all the pictures in the carousel or slideshow are all the same size. And then you would first save it as a PSD then you would save it for the web so you would the size is not too big the website can't use the psd so save it for the web and then you would go to dreamweaver and then insert your picture there you go this is jeanette walsh i hope that helps you understand a little bit better how to size a photo for the banner image for a slideshow and
recommend also inserting the photo into Dreamweaver. 